Hi, welcome to Genesis Engineers Academy. So in this case, we are going to learn about lettering. How to write text on drawing sheets. So this is lettering A type. So in this case, height of capitals, minimum height of capitals is 2.5, next to 3.5. you remember these two on the other two also combine so 2.5 double is 5 5 7 that is 3.5 double if you go next step this is 10 40 generally we in uh, drawing sheets follow <coughs> highest <coughs> is 10 or 40 that is known to you and and so you have to remember one thing that we are not going to use small case letters in drawing sheets so you learn about capitals okay next you have to follow the spacing between characters a b c the space between a and b how much it should be so if it is 3.5 the minimum space is 0.5 if you follow this one 0.75 or 7 or like that but the maintenance must be constant that is the if you left to 0.5 between two characters and the same must be maintained throughout your text suppose if you take the 7 we generally follow 7 and 5 you understand so in our uh, learning process we generally follow 5 7 so if you height of the text is 7 the space between characters is 1 and the space between words is 3 the spacing of base lines is 10 i will explain all these thing again and this is lettering a if he is asked you to follow lettering a you must follow if you don't follow and even if you write clearly you will not get to marks right suppose uh, lettering b generally we follow this lettering b type no see this one and five small case is 3.5 you forget about this the space between characters is 1 mm it's so easy for uh, leave this space or maintain this space and uh, the spacing between words is 3 mm the spacing between uh, base lines is 7 okay next to and if we ask about the height of the capitals about 10 and the space must be 2 the spacing between words is 6 and the base line distance is 10 generally in engineering drawing <coughs> they will ask you 10 or 14 also but in polytechnic we generally ask you are asked to follow this so the height of the text is 10 the space between uh characters is 2 the space between words is 6 and it is 14 because it is easy to follow because there are no decimals if it is it is highly difficult to maintain 1.4 1.2 like that okay so this is basic knowledge about to lettering next to in general we follow this thing by for main titles you can follow 6 to 8 mm main titles like that uh, uh, title of that drawing sheet like that that is called titles isometric drawing that must be uh, draw like in represent using this 6 to 8 mm so you can also maintain 7 mm okay so this is in between 7 mm you draw isometric like that but these lines are always very less dark uh, that is light so this these lines are to be drawn by h pencil and the text is written in or by uh, hb pencil okay or otherwise you can use 
dot pencils and you have to vary the pressure required and subtitles you can start from 3 to 6 mm subtitle sometime uh, other than main title you can follow 3 to 5, 6 so you can use 5 you can use 7 and dimension all these things you can also use 5 4 like that okay so this is for dimensioning so if you use uh, this is the arrow and this is the extension line so you can use uh, the text height is 5 maximum so you can follow this one here is 5 here is 5 here is 7 main title is uh, somewhat uh, higher that is height is more next to dimension drawing number this is generally followed in the industry so you need not worry about this one you can follow the subtitle concept of drawing number so subtitles is very important 3 to 6 generally front view so if you wanted to write front view you draw 5 mm then front view okay so this is a subtitle okay so in title box we write titles like that this is title box the other than this is a subtitles you can use and the dimensions also 5 mm maximum drawing number you need not worry this is to be followed by the industry people now what is the height of this so suppose i draw this one line and the second line so this is height the space between these two lines gives us the height of the text and in general we follow the capital letters only so it is easy to and that means it will be easy for us to write a center line also this will help in some cases of letter lettering so this that is this is the width of the text this may varies so what a rule i have to i will uh, explain i will ask you i will suggest you that the height is 10 suppose and the width need not be 10 it may be 8 mm maximum so you can reduce 2 mm for the width and the space must be in lettering 2 okay 2 mm 1.5 it is easy it is not easy so you maintain 2 mm gap here the same thing has to be maintained throughout the line or text for that too, you have to draw all these lines before writing the text and moreover for a like this one central line i have also drawn one central line by setting this 8 mm by 4 so for for me a will be looks like a symmetry okay so this is 10 mm the width is 8 mm and the gap is 1.4 but is lettering a in the we follow generally lettering b then you can see that is the 2 so there is nothing wrong okay so see this one how why have you drawn this center line so that that will be easy for us so this line center line i have kept this a okay next to b so so you might have observed so b for b there are two types so you can uh, take a curve and a straight line and this one that also gives you some idea or other it is for d i use i have used and this is i use curve here here also curve so you follow one method by using curves at the corners or junction points see this c see this so okay so you follow the this method and instead of this i also explain lettering b type 
that is there is another thing that is inclined lines for inclined lines you draw the 10 mm space lines and the center line 5 mm and you draw the inclined line so this inclined lines e, e, this angle e is 75 and from vertical it is 50 it is 50 you got my point so use this and the maintain the same thing the text between and at the same time the spacing between words also important in b type it is 6 uh, the words means uh, the this is one word following this is another word so the, the the space between words must be 6 in case of b type 4.2 in case of a type if the text height is 10 that is okay so these are the small case letters okay so you maintain the same thing but uh, they must be constant first for a letter if you maintain 8 mm for b letter it should be 8 mm not to other than that see this how it looks this is 8 this is 1.4 i have followed a but you can follow letter b type if 1.4 is not possible you can go for 2 also or 1.5 also see this looks a similarity that is a symmetry okay right these are the this is inclined lines you have to follow this one the space between characters must be maintained the space between uh, words must be maintained and these reference lines must be light and your letters must be dark so dark lines are drawn by hb pencil or okay so light lines are drawn by h lines don't use use 2h because 2h leaves some impressions on the drawing sheet which is visible to other side of the drawing in engineering examinations so we are you are supplied with one drawing sheet only so you have to draw both the sides and these lettering must be drawn using mini drafter otherwise you are going to lose 5 or 10 marks for this section so here the height is h the space between characters is a this is the thickness of the line and the the spacing between uh, base lines b is that so in this case it is 10 it is 8 it is 1.4 or 2 you can maintain this is generally more thick values is 1 mm thick or otherwise you can maintain 0.5 0.7 1 like that okay so there should not be any overlaps of lines like that okay no rubbing of this like this don't do that you use this okay that is use a square scale and draw the line okay this is another that is a b type i have used with also i have used 10 but you can reduce with 2 8 mm this is the same thing i have drawn okay a small case you can reduce like anything if it is 3 if the height is 5 you can reduce to 4 or 3 if the which one width so you can reduce up to 3 mm uh, 2 mm to the height if 10 is your height your width may be 8 or you can also 10 by 10 nothing wrong 
but it varies that's what i wanted to convey through this video this is uh, inclined so for uh, letter that is uh, for dimensioning you use numbers so don't use your way of uh, letters lettering so generally 5 is uh, written in our textbooks like the uh, notebooks this is like that Sh this should not be followed so you have to draw li lines like that one you have to assume like that you have to practice like that you always draw 5 as this and you don't use zero like this one you use uh, zero as this one this practice must be done by you and for eight uh, different people will like write ha huh? so you have to write uh, you eight like this one smaller and a little bit to bigger and for nine you have to draw like this don't like line should not be written four this not followed should not be followed and you have to draw like this this is vertical line this is horizontal line and draw like this i like that to five don't use five like that too okay for three ha huh? so for three you can draw draw like this one you can also follow or otherwise uh, oval cut to oval this is also oval but you leave some space here like that okay so that is 3 see this so this is also part of oval this is also part of oval like that uh, you reference this and you want to to get that this is 3 6 okay so you have to follow a certain method of writing text and moreover if fractions are to be draw, uh, added to this number and the fraction divided by line here and you add this 1 1 by 2 okay Okay, center line. Suppose two or three, and this is four. Like that, it should be, huh? Not like this one. So you use nine, one by four, like that. thick thin high to text to all has to be text must be very legibly explained thank you very much please subscribe if not subscribe and also press the like button to receive all notifications thank you